Hello, my name is Ross Langell. I'm a full-time science facilitator at Science World, and today we'll be talking to you about sound. Now, the sound show is my favorite show at Science World. I love it, one of my favorite ones to perform. So today we have a few demos to talk to you about from the sound show. The first thing to remember is that sound is vibration, vibration, vibration. Our vocal cords vibrate to make a sound. The sound wave goes out into the air, vibrates through the little particles in the air, and then finally comes to our ear where our eardrum vibrates back and forth. But it's kind of hard to see, so the best way to do it is to visualize it. So what we have here, tuning fork. Nothing too extraordinary, but what we do is when we give it a little hit, the two tines up here will vibrate back and forth very rapidly to make a noise. So let's see if we can get some noise out of this. So the two tines are vibrating back and forth, back and forth, making that nice sound we have going through the air. But sound is a wave that can and must travel through a medium. Most of the time it's air, but sometimes we can get it traveling through other substances as well, such as solids and liquids. So let's see if we can try and get it traveling through the ping pong ball here. So when the tuning fork is still, nothing much happening. Nothing too exciting. but. Let's see what happens when we bang it and get the tines vibrating back and forth. Success! Movement through the solid, back and forth through the tines. That was through a solid, now we're going to try and do it through a liquid. So we bring up the water here and we dip the tuning fork in. Nothing, nothing going on. But as soon as we vibrate tuning fork, uh, we, get a, we get a little bit of movement there. So sound is a vibration, can go through anything, but you know, lots of other things use vibrations, just like the instruments that we use. They have a thing called a reed, which vibrates back and forth, giving us those beautiful noises. We can actually make our own instruments at home using a very simple plastic straw. I know, not too exciting, but we can make it very entertaining. But we can grind it through our teeth, then we cut it into a point at the very tip, So we have a nice little tip with two little prongs there. And as soon as we blow into it, we'll get a nice sound out of it, hopefully. But like every other instrument, we need to be able to make it make different noises in higher pitch and lower pitch, vibrating faster and slower. So we can perform a little surgery with it to get some different noises out of it. There we have it. And you can cut them to different lengths to get your own little musical orchestra going on. There we go. 